Welcome back. Um, we're now into day 456 of quarantine, uh, and I'd like to do yet another fly time video for you. This uh, particular pattern we're going to do today is a cormorant, or more precisely, a traffic light cormorant. And back in the ancient days when we were still allowed to go out fishing, very successful little mini lure that we used to use uh, on the Midlands reservoirs, or all reservoirs, all lakes. Um, doesn't particularly uh, represent anything and yet it represents everything it's one of those little flies that just seems to work um, anyway we'll talk more about it as we go through the time as I say this particular one is going to be the traffic light variant so we've got a, a big one seven five size 10 in the device uh, thread is uh, UTC 140 in black I'm just going to catch that on now the traffic light gets his name because of the way we rib uh, the fly we are overlaying a red hollow rib with a pearl mylar and what that allows that to do is that red shines through that mylar at a certain angle and the light catches it in a certain way it shines through from one side it looks to be um, uh, translucent and from another angle it looks to be red so I think it probably moves in the water as it's moving through the water. It just flashes backwards and forwards between that red and silver and red and silver. Um, it's a very successful little fly. I love it. It really is one of my go-tos. Uh, I, I like two cormorants I use a lot of is this one and just the plain black cormorant with a red head. Uh, and I'll do another little video on that later on. Uh, but this one in particular has picked me up an awful lot of big fish and lovely but it seems to pick out big browns for some reason i don't know why but they do love it so we've got to think about the construction of this fly so we're, we're as i said we're overlaying uh, a red mylar uh, sorry a red uh, hollow um just there a little red hollow fiber there okay we're going to overlay that with this little pearl so the first thing to go on the, onto the hook is the pearl, all right? So it's going to be the last thing to come over the top of everything. So I'll take off a link for this pearl, and I'm just going to catch that in. And again, with all my flies, I like to catch everything in up the top here and work it down the hook so it gives the body the same profile. Okay, and then we'll just catch in the red, a little bit of red tinsel there as well. They're both caught in together and then bring that all the way down to the back of the hook. Very, very easy fly to tie this one. Very easy fly, but, uh, but so effective, so effective. Um, okay, so the body is uh, made up of uh, peacock curl um, that uh, you can buy in packets already stripped off, or if you're lucky enough, you can get them on quills like this. And I've got uh, niches. A niece and a couple of nephews that visit the uh, the zoo rather regularly and they seem to manage to lay their hands on quite a few of these for me so I've always got a nice ready supply thanks very much Ellie and Henry and Leaf right just taking a, a, a fiber off there just a single fiber is fine but this is quite thick this one is quite nice robust and I'm going to catch it in the back of the hook here this is going to be our body say a lovely little fly this one um it's good as a dropper fly in between two lures on a sinking line um the way this works and uh, the the way the wing moves um it's a, it's a great little dropper fly especially for fishing on the hang you'll see it as we go through why um because well let me let me just show you the fly and then we'll talk about how it works a bit more so i've tied in the uh the peacock curl there and i'm just gonna work that up the body just touching turns all the way up the body. Take your time. This stuff can be a bit delicate. It's a pretty good when they come off the uh, uh, the main quill like that, and they haven't been dyed. They do seem to lose a little bit of their uh, robustness when they become when they've been dyed. And these are fairly good. So bring that all the way up. Now stopping. Well, shy of the. Uh, the eye again give yourself plenty of room i'm just going to catch that off secure it in nice and tightly again you can wiggle this if you want to i like to just trim it off like that it's fine okay first thing we're going to bring up in the rib is the red tinsel okay i'm just going to bring that up we're probably going to rip this trying to rip this about three times on the way up so let's bring that through the fly one 
to three times is plenty and then just catch that in so it's caught in there just behind the oh, yeah. see it spoke too soon one two three did a better job of catching that in shall we a couple of turns out just to lock that in it's um, I mean, you so close to the camera, you don't give yourself a lot of room the other side there. Just trim that off, and then we come up exactly over the top of that with this pearl. Okay, just just follow that exactly up the fly. So it's coming straight over the top of that rib. One, two, three. Again, then just catch that in. Up here. Nice and tight. There we go. Now you can start to see the effect that has. And as we turn that, you get to see the red start pushing through that pearl. It gives it a lovely effect. Uh, and in the water, it shines. A lovely, lovely, lovely effect. Right, wing on top of this black marabou. Okay, it's just a nice reasonable pinching marabou there's always been some debate about whether you use these tip feathers or whether you use these feathers down here it makes no difference it makes no difference at all people get so carried away with flies and these little things make little differences etc etc the majority of the time they make a blind bit of difference so just a nice healthy pinch of marabou okay just straighten that out we're just going to trim that rubbish off the off the back there before we tie it on like so i'm just going to catch that in just behind the eye like so lovely okay it's nice and tidy make sure it's nice and secure Whip finish. Smash him. Now what we're going to do is just pinch this off just to be the length of the hook. Okay, so you're just going to, you don't want that wing too massive, just pinch off so your finger and thumb come in pretty much at the bend of the hook there. Hold the marabou together and just pinch. Lovely. And that's a cormorant, traffic light cormorant. I'm going to go too heavy on the wing. So it's, like a, it's a little mini lure, this is. The wing just gives it a little bit of movement. And as I was hinting at earlier, um, one of the ways to fish this is in between two lures, uh, maybe two blobs or two boobies or something like that in a sinking line. Uh, pull it back to the boat. And then just stop, just hang it at the boat it, you know, with 20 foot of line out or something like that. And what happens is this drops down in the water. As it stops, the, the hook goes backwards, but the wing opens up and it's really, really attractive. Looks lovely. Many, 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 many fish caught on the hang with these flies. Um, really, really good little fly when the fish go off a little bit. Just drop the varnish here on the head. So when the fish go off, especially in these big matches we fish, um, when lots and lots of people pull in, uh, day one you're catching them all in colour and blobs and fabs and all sorts of things. Um, by day two they've seen enough of it and it's uh, saved my day a few times. Uh, just putting three of these on a nice 18 foot leader, so a standard leader, um, on, a, on a tip line, a sink tip line or maybe even a fast glass. And just pop it out and mess around with it so fish it static fish it slow little pools figure of eight um they've it's a good get out of jail uh we as a team use cormorants a lot um uh, captain lee pond he absolutely loves them you know he swears by three cormorants uh on a, on a tip line or a fast glass when things get tough and they do work really really well but it's a little mini lure um time down to 12s and 14s um there's all sorts of uh, colour combinations. Some people like to put cheeks in them. 
uh, jungle cock cheeks in them. Uh, some people like the tails on them. For me, uh, that is one of my favourite of all of them. The uh, traffic light cormorant. So I hope you like that. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe, click, click like, and uh, I'll keep uh, popping out some more of these videos because uh, I'm not going fishing. <laughs> Thanks very much.